to edit the sequence for a song, um, what you do is you hover over the particular song and click on the little pencil icon and you'll see uh, that the best place to edit the sequence is actually over on the right. Um, it's nice that we have this here because compared to um, having on the left, anywhere on the left here, um, you, you'll you see in just a moment um, that you'll want to have it over here instead. So um, to edit the sequence, click edit, you'll see that um, the two sequences don't match up. Specifically, right before the bridge, we um, we have one chorus over here and two choruses over here. Um, so what we're going to do is come over here and edit, uh, hover over this sequence. Now, um, before I do that though, I want to look down here and it says that it's linked with the arrangement sequence. So that means if I change anything here, it will change it forever and ever. Amen. So the next person doing this song um, uh, will will have this arrangement. Um, and what we want, what we have over here is the actual artist arrangement, how they kind of worked it, or at least what's in our mp3. Um, so what I want to do is click on link with this item only. Then I'll remove this. Then I'll hit accept. And now everything matches with what this worship leader wanted compared to over here. Um, so here's why we do this. So when I hit accept, it's going to create a, a chart over here automatically um, because we are creating our own charts here in Planning Center. So when I go to download this, sorry about that beep, you will see up here at the top um, on everyone's uh, chord sheet they will have the sequence. Whereas uh, if you do, if you do not if you only, um, as a worship leader, put notes into this item description, that will only show up under the um, the service printout sheet. So when we go in ahead and uh, print out the order of service when it's all in there, you'll see all the details here. So you'll see the details in this service uh, print out, but that really does us no good from song to song, um, uh, except for maybe if, if we wanted to communicate to our, um, our AV team or something like that. So um, this is a good idea, but in the end, we want our musicians to have them within their uh, PDFs. Let me know if you have questions.